All right, hey, Hayes Mega here with another Toyota RAV4 Prime video. All right, this is going to be my uh, heater, heater, heat pump repair video vlog <laughs> type of thing. Okay, so, um, uh, so I have a 2021 Toyota RAV4 Prime SE, and like since since day one, since I've owned it, it always has this problem where when it's very cold, okay, it has to be very cold out, like probably like 50. 50 55 you know in the 50s and below when it's really cold and you just turn the vehicle on and you then you turn the heater on right or else you're going to turn the heater on because it's cold right um you'll hear a loud sound like a valve opening or something some people call it some people describe it like a like a train horn or something like it like the, the horn on a on a train yeah it sounds like that it it's that that for a few seconds maybe like like four seconds four or five seconds and then it goes away and then but it's like it's really annoying and i know it you know i know it does it <laughs> okay yeah so and then i i posted a video about it a while back and actually the first time i went in for service that's what i told them i said hey my rav4 is making this noise when i turn the heater on and it's very cold and they said like oh yeah you know that's normal blah 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 you know and and so so i thought like okay well maybe it's a normal thing and that's that's what i pointed out in that in that service vlog right um so today i did my twenty thousand mile service vlog all right it's like february 2023 and uh and i told them about it and they're like oh yeah you know you gotta you gotta schedule you gotta make another schedule for that because um they, all they did was like an oil change today right twenty thousand mile maintenance is basically an oil change all right and they didn't want to rotate my tires because they're worn out okay <laughs> um but anyway um yeah so i'm gonna bring it there tomorrow all right i had just scheduled an appointment for a warranty service all right so the, so so those of you folks that have a 2021 rav4 prime or if you have a rav4 or even like a i think the prius prime has the same uh heating and cooling system the heat pump system yeah i think um I think those might be affected by it, but this this technical it's a TSB, all right? It's a technical service bulletin. What these are are like they're like updates to uh, you know to the vehicle, all right? It's kind of like a, a patch patch fix or type of thing, all right? Not maybe not all Rav4 primes are affected by it, all right? I, I but I do know the 2021 Rav4 primes are okay. It's it's on the list. It's on the it's on the service bulletin, okay? Um, and it's a common thing, I guess. Um, I've looked it up on the internet, and I actually um, found out about the service bulletin on the Rav4, Rav4 World Forum or something, and uh, and it mentions this TSB, all right. And I actually downloaded it from the Toyota, um, the Toyota Service Manual website, all right. It, I actually had it on my computer. I just looked it up on the forum. I was, oh, let me see if I have that. And I look at it, and poof, there it is. And it says 2021 Rav4 Prime on it. So. So okay, uh, if you have a 2022 or 2023 Rav4 Prime, your yours may not be affected. If yours doesn't make a loud noise when you turn your vehicle on and it's very very cold, and and the, the problem is it's hard to produce. All right, it's it it's only like a certain conditions have to be met for like to make this noise, and one it's it ha the car has to be cold, and it has to be cold outside, and you have to turn your heater on when it you know when all those conditions are met. You know, so like if I take it to the dealer. It's not gonna make that noise, right? Because it's you, you drive it to the dealer and it's already a thing, okay? But uh, but yeah, we can go over to service bulletin, and and yeah, so um, let's let's go check that service bulletin out, and then I'm gonna go take it in for to get the warranty service done tomorrow. Um, I can't believe like they didn't. I can't believe something like this didn't pop up in the computer. You know, I've I've had recall stuff, recall service, and uh, I think there's I've had a one. A mandatory service recall service and one um it's like that's like a safety thing right and then i've had a voluntary recall thing all right about like the uh the communication system all right um those are the only things you know the only kind of recall stuff that i've done on my vehicle except for uh, except for this one this one never pops up all right so whenever i take it there to do my service they don't say anything all right they're like oh you got a 2021 rav4 prime is it doing this <laughs> no they never asked me that all right the only time the only time is when i mentioned it the first time the very first service the 5,000 mile service 
So, yeah, I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> so, I don't know. It's probably not that big a problem, you know. Honestly, I've had my RAV4 Prime for almost two years now. And, um, and really, it hasn't, you know, it just makes that noise. It's just really annoying, you know. I, I know, I know it's going to make that noise when I turn my vehicle on. But, you know, maybe somewhere down the line, it may cause a problem, you know. It, what it is, it's like, it's some of the valves opening and closing in the, uh, in the heat pump cooling and heating system, right? Because the RAV4 Prime has this crazy HVAC uh, dealy <laughs> going on. It has a crazy HVAC system, okay? Anyway, let's go take a look at the TSB. And then uh, after after that, I'm going to take it to, to get it serviced and I'll let you guys know what happens, all right? Okay, so this is the uh, service bulletin, all right? Um, this is the first page of it. It's I will put it on the on the um, description and probably the title of this video, all right, the vlog. It's T-SB-0042-22, okay? This is revision one, April 19, 2022. I might just print this first page out. They should be able to get this on the computer, all right? But this is a Toyota Technical Service Bulletin, all right? Um, if you, yeah, if you type this number in, you can probably find this document on the internet, all right? The, the Service Bulletin. It's not hard to find, I think. People have, you know, they got it posted online. But this is a climate control, not heating, mill on. These are DTC. DTCs are trouble codes. All right. Da, 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 da. I don't have the computer to check all this stuff. Or humming, buzzing noise upon startup, ready, on. Okay. So I my heating system does work. All right. And I don't have, I don't know if I have these trouble codes. But I do have and or humming buzzing noise upon startup i do have this all right i do have this so so that's this would apply to me all right and it's a vehicle interior cat service category is service is vehicle in interior sorry section is heating and air conditioning in the usa okay and um the years it affects is 2021 rav4 prime okay it doesn't say 2022 or 2023 um i'm I'm shooting this video in 2023 and I downloaded this boy I think I downloaded this earlier this year so the, if 2022 was in here it would they would have put it in here already right unless I downloaded the wrong one but this is the first yeah this is the first revision as of December 14 2022 okay that's when this the one that I have revision one came out okay um, yeah so the 2022 two and 23 models should have already been came out all right so if they had those problems they probably would have added it here but it's not so it's probably just the 2021 models that are affected by this i heard that some or most of rav4 2021 rav4 primes have this problem okay so here's what it is introduction some 2021 model year rav4 prime vehicles okay some all right like i mentioned some not all Okay, not most, I guess some, all right, and I guess mine is part of some, <laughs> okay, may exhibit one or more of the following conditions, all right, this is like I mentioned the title, right, the climate control system is not cooling or heating, well, it is, it's working fine, all right, guys, I'll, I'll tell you that, the, the mill on, all right, that's like a trouble code, all right, diagnostic trouble codes, um, P15017 alpha, that's hybrid EV battery cooling refrigerant gas leak, or seal failure Ooh, okay so that's that's a big one uh p1 bravo 8314 hybrid ev battery pack refrigerant pressure sensor a circuit high circuit short to auxiliary battery all right and then there's a papa 05347 alpha that's a refrigerant gas leak or a seal failure well my Cooling, cooling and heating system works, so these probably are not thing. But I wouldn't, I don't know because I don't have the computer to check all that stuff. Okay, but I do have this problem: humming, buzzing noise upon startup, ready on with compressor on. All right, it says follow the repair procedure in this bulletin to address these conditions. All right, so I mine does have this problem. All right, I don't think it has any of these problems though. Okay, but if yours does make that noise upon startup, then you can probably get your get a warranty service done like I'm going to. All right, copyright 2022 Toyota Motor Sales. Okay, and so 
so you've got 36 months or 36,000 miles to uh, to do this okay guys so if you're if you're in that window and yours your RAV4 prime your 2021 RAV4 prime is making this noise all right or your heating or cooling system is not working then you better take it to get it serviced all right get a warranty service done like I'm doing right now all right I, I, I want to do this now so like when the, my 36,000 miles are up um, you know something could happen to the vehicle if they if they fix it you know chances are it might not happen okay <laughs> you're you you won't be shit out of luck in the future is what i would say okay uh it says something about rav4 prime vehicles registered and normally operate in california arizona da, 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 da. all right um okay and something about the parts some uh, discharge hose and amplifier assembly okay so this is what they're going to do to your vehicle okay you need the text stream stuff that's the computer that connects to the vehicle and you can do all the diagnostic stuff i don't have that all right guys um stuff to do with the air conditioner i'm not going to go into too much detail here guys but here's the repair procedure and i'm going to go over like if like what I'm going through right now okay so you gotta turn the vehicle on and confirm one or more of the following conditions are present well I, I when the when they do it at the dealership I guarantee you it's not gonna do it because I'm gonna drive it in and it's gonna be warm already but anyway uh, the climate control system is not cooling or heating nope it doesn't do that it works fine and these are the trouble codes I was talking about all right I don't know if I have them but they can check that all right and so uh, does any does the vehicle exhibit any of the conditions well i don't think so besides these ones all right so i'm going to say no and it says go to step six so i'm going to skip all this i think this is all um servicing the air conditioning system all right the, the hvacs or the heat pump system so we're going to go to six all right and step six it says turn the vehicle on and ensure the compressor is on is there a humming buzzing noise present well uh, my compressor does buzz when it's on i know when it's on okay um, but it's not super loud like when you first turn it on and this is referred to the link for an example of humming buzzing noise all right and then um it's gonna open a, up something all right you guys can see my reflection here right okay so that link that i clicked this is actually a little movie that they can download so they can s verify like what that sound sounds like all right they're pretty uh, they're pretty uh, high speed sort of these these uh, service bulletins i want to say but so I actually downloaded the video on my computer. All right, I actually have one of my own personal videos that I put on YouTube also. But this is of somebody else's Rav4 that's making that noise. All right, here, here we can watch it together. Okay, this is a telesync. All right, that's that's exactly what my Rav4 is doing. All right, this must not be a, a American Rav4 because it's got a. Uh, some weird stuff here on the <laughs> oh it's in uh it's in celsius i think yeah so yeah listen to it again listen to it again yeah it's pretty freaking loud guys all right it's noticeable all right mine makes exactly that same sound all right i will put a clip of it right now if it how for All right, did you just hear that, guys? That's that annoying, loud noise. All right, when 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 you're trying to to warm your Rav4 up when it's cold, uh, it's 49 degrees outside. It's not super duper cold, but okay, yeah. So um, so yeah, it is making that noise. Yes, it is. So now we're gonna go to seven. All right, use the text stream to confirm the calibration ID for the air conditioning amplifier assembly. Is the air conditioning amplifier assembly calibrated to ID yada da 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 and I don't know let's say yeah I don't know so this is the point where like yes or no but I don't have this computer let's say yes they would reflash the air conditioning amplifier assembly to so they have to update the air conditioning system thing so it doesn't do that noise okay um, and there's some kind of notes the the battery voltage has to be 3.5 while flashing the vehicle oh boy they're going to do some stuff with the computer and it's going to 
reset a bunch of stuff. It's kind of annoying. All right, there's some. There's there. It points to another TSB here on how to EC, flash the ECU. They sh, the the technicians should know how to do that. Okay, guys, don't do don't do this if you don't know what you're doing. All right, type of thing. All right, and then using text stream perform the health check and clear any stored DTCs. Confirm air conditioning compressor humming buzzing noise is no longer present. I don't know how they're going to do that because the vehicle is going to be hot once again. All right, if they let it sit there overnight and start it up like when it's really cold or let the vehicle cool down a whole lot, then turn it back on. Then yeah, you know. But like I mentioned, it has to be very cold for it to do this. <laughs> okay, at least in my experience. All right, and then also if the, if if it does have this, then it's going to say no. The bulletin does not come apply continue diagnosis using the applicable repair manual all right um, i don't know what the applicable repair manual is all right but i'm assuming that we need to do this firmware flash for the um air conditioning amplifier assembly okay so so that's what they got to do and you have to have special computer to do that all right guys you can't do it on can't do it unless you don't have the equipment and the know-how to do it okay guys and then so that that's the the technical service bulletin that they put out for 2021 RAV4 primes all right so only some RAV4 primes are affected by this if yours is making this noise then you got to tell your dealer all right at least I have to tell my dealer because they didn't tell me anything man <laughs> they, they, they don't know you know so you got to be the squeaky wheel right the squeaky wheel gets the oil type of thing right um, you want to take care of this thing before you get to 36,000 miles all right um, or else they might not do it, all right, or they'll make you pay to do it type of thing. So um, it should be covered under your warranty. You know, it's it's like a kind of like a defect problem, all right. Uh, will it harm anything? I don't know. It's been happening to my RAV4 for almost two years now, only in like cold weather. All right, it's really cold right now, by the way. It's winter time, <laughs> and it does it all the time, all right. Uh, but yeah, I've, I've, it's been happening to me for like two years now, and my car, my vehicle still drives fine, all right, as far as I know. All right, um, but if something happens in the future, you know, it, I mean, this could, something could happen in the future. So you want to get this taken care of, you know, before 36,000 miles, all right. So I highly, highly suggest, like, at least if yours, if your if you can produce the same, if yours has the same noise that I showed you in the videos, then you better get yours uh, checked out by your dealer, right? And so what I had to do is I told my, I, okay, this is what I did. I told my service advisor when I came in for the 20,000 mile service, hey, my RAV4 is making this noise. And I think there's like a, there's a, some kind of service bulletin to fix it and stuff. And it's like, oh, well, we're just supposed to do the 20,000 mile maintenance thing. You got to make a separate appointment. And he told me I had to call and make an appointment. You can't go online and do it, all right? Because I've done that too. I've, I've scheduled an appointment on the internet, um, but you, they said you have to call, all right? So what I did is I called the service department and I told them, hey, I, I want to make a schedule for a warranty service, all right? And, um, and, and tell them your heater is making a noise, all right? And, and you want to get a warranty service for that. And then you tell them, hey, I have the TSB. I have the TSB number for it. And I and then I told her, yeah, okay, what was the number again? It's a TSB dash zero zero four two dash two two. All right, and they're gonna write that down, and then like so they know like what they're you know what they're gonna do to it when it comes in, okay? Um, and then I'm gonna so now now I'm gonna have to go there and get it done. All right, so when I go there and get it done, you guys will find out what happened in the next clip. Okay, hopefully I go there, they. They do that thing to the computer, they reflash it, and that noise goes away, all right? And then, and then everyone is happy, right? <laughs> um, I won't have that annoying noise anymore. And, um, and yeah, and something, you know, something could happen to your vehicle in the future because of this, if you don't take care of it now, so I'll say. So, and, and you have to, it's something you have to tell them, all right? Okay, so, so if you have this, uh, if you have the same problem that Hayes Omega is having, I highly, highly suggest you take it in and get it worked on, okay? Um, because I don't think they're just gonna call you or send you a letter or anything or or take a look at see what kind of stuff your vehicle has on for it you know for recalls and stuff there they haven't mentioned anything about it I haven't gotten anything in the mail the only way I found out about this is the interwebs all right I googled it RAV4 prime heater noise all right 
and it's this affects a lot of vehicles it says some RAV4 primes but it's enough that like yeah a certain amount of people a good amount of people would 2021 RAV4 primes are having this problem okay so so yeah okay anyway in the next clip you'll find out what happens all right hands make out all right hey he's me here and it's the next day and I shaved all right <laughs> anyway um uh, so um, I'm here at Stevens Creek Toyota and we're gonna see if we can get this uh, warranty service done all right I've got the a copy of the first page of the TSB okay and I have no way to really show them the noise that it's making because it only does it when the vehicle starts up when it's cold so <laughs> okay but uh yeah I'll just take it in and I'll let you guys know what what happens all right Here we are. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm still. I'm still waiting here. It's been like 15 minutes. It's. It's now my appointment time. <laughs> I usually get here before 10:30. I scheduled for 10:30, and I've been here like since like 10:15. So, still waiting for a service advisor. Okay, there she goes. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm trying to stay out of the stay out of the rain here, man. But uh. <laughs> Um, so they, uh, I have to, I have to leave it, all right? I have to leave the vehicle for this because they have to be able to reproduce the, the noise, okay? <laughs> um, it did make the noise this morning when I, before I left. It wasn't very loud, all right? But yeah, the colder it is, the more noise it makes, all right? Just fire up that heater and then it makes that noise every time when it's very cold, you know? The first startup, so. So that's what I told them. Uh, so they, they got me a lift, uh, like a, um, you know, a, a ride share. They, I guess they don't do shuttles anymore, man. <laughs> and um, and yeah, so I'm gonna, I have to go home and pick it up tomorrow. So they said they are gonna, they're gonna charge me if they find something else making the noise. Like if there is some kind of leaves, leaves in the cabin filter, but I'm like, this this car has been making this noise since it was brand new all right since i first got it so um it's always been making that noise so you know if, if it's making when it's brand new and it's making it right now it's still the same problem <laughs> okay so all right anyway i left it here i'm gonna leave it here um today and then pick it up tomorrow and see what happens all right um yeah what a bummer um but that's okay. Um, I'd rather I'd rather get this thing knocked out, man. I'm just kind of tired of worrying about it, type of thing. All right. All right. Hey, he's making his home now. All right. Uh, Stevens Creek Toyota got me a lift ride home. I guess they don't do shuttles anymore. <laughs> okay. But uh, but yeah, uh, I got a I got a lift from uh, Maricea and a. Uh, it was a teal it was more like more like a like a, a gray color or something <laughs> it was uh it was a rav4 <laughs> okay it was uh i don't know what year it is i think it was like a newer rav4 uh, newer than mine probably like a 2022 rav4 uh, it was pretty clean um but it was a it was a gas model all right um that's the first time i've got to ride in the back of a rav4 and it was really the seats are really comfortable <laughs> it, it had the cloth seats just like mine and I was like, oh, that's nice back here. <laughs> like she hardly said anything. Yeah, that's that I think that's the only second ride share ride I've done. Uh he's big as an Uber driver, so um, you know, I've driven a lot of people before, so I know what it's like being the driver. <laughs> um I don't know if I want to be doing Uber with my RAV4, you know. Um a lot of people they get in and get out of your vehicle, it, it kind of messes up the interior a little bit, so I don't know. And, and you put a lot of miles on your vehicle doing uh, Uber or Lyft. That's what I want to say. Okay, anyway, um, so the, the the vehicle is at Stevens Creek Toyota right now. And uh, so they've got to get it to reproduce that, that sound. Um, I don't know if it'll make that sound when it's in hybrid mode. I brought it there with no charge in the battery, guys. There wasn't any charge in the battery. Um, what I should have done is I should have drove it there in hybrid mode and left some charge in the battery. Because uh, I think when you start the vehicle up, um, it will turn the gas engine on. And, it'll, and I don't know if it will make that noise. I, but I know whenever I start it up in EV mode uh, and, you know, the engine doesn't turn on, it'll make that noise. So 
I don't know. I don't know if it'll do it in hybrid mode. <laughs> That's a good question. I, I should have left some charge of the battery. So, hopefully they can fix it. All right. Um, all I can say is uh, this is a. Uh, I it's like I have to jump through like hoops just to get this uh, warranty service done. Okay. Um, it's something that's been happening to the vehicle ever since I owned it, and it, even though it seems like the vehicle operates fine with it like this, it it just it's kind of annoying every time it starts up i know it's going to make that noise like it doesn't sound it doesn't sound right and um and it's not that is not something normal okay um they've got to reflash the um the firmware for the 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 air conditioning compressor or something with like an updated one and then it should go away um and then if it's leaky if there's any kind of leaks in the the hvac system they have to fix it so um, I don't think there's any kind of leaks, like I mentioned in, in the er earlier part of the video. Um, I think it's just it just needs a like a a firmware update type of thing. Okay, so and it's really annoying to have to get it. You have to like pretty much demand to get it done. Okay, they're not gonna go like oh you know there's a there's a recall on the vehicle and we have to do this. It's a safety thing. Well, no, they're not gonna do it. You have to actually you have to actually go and you know. You have to kind of like demand, like, "Hey, I I need this uh, I need this work done on my vehicle," right? <laughs> and it only affects my vehicle, this this year vehicle. So it's like it's kind of like a somewhat isolated, you know, problem to to like just certain models, 2021 Rav4 Prime. Okay, so but um, hopefully they can fix it. All right, they're gonna they're gonna keep it overnight i think and then uh they're, they'll do something <laughs> okay but what they're trying to do is they're trying to get it to reproduce that sound i what what's all i'm saying is what's the point all right like you don't you don't believe me i have a freaking video of it all right i have a video of it making that noise so yeah dude um it it, it sounds like they don't believe me type of thing you know oh well, we have to make it so so i mean so also another thing is what I was thinking is if they have to do this update, right? So it, it makes a noise, all right? Like like the the bolt service bulletin says it, it makes a noise. So you have to do the 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 firmware update or yeah, you have to do a, you have to do some kind of firmware update on some some the the HVAC system, right? And then um and then it says you have to test it again to see if the noise goes away. So they could have this. They could have my vehicle for like multiple days, okay? Because they have to wait for it to get cold and then start up again. It don't. It the the. It's a very yeah. Like I said, it's a very isolated incident. All right. There has to be a specific set of conditions for this to happen, you know. And like yeah. So um, they said they were gonna try to start it up sometime today and see if it would make that noise. I'm sure it probably would. I don't know. But yeah, it's it's a pain in the ass because it only does it, you know, at certain times. So and then they have to be able to reproduce that. Only like, it's ugh, what just 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 to hook up the computer and see if uh, if the thing needs to be updated and just update it. What's what's so hard about that, you know? Um, but I was talking to the service advisor, and it looks like the service advisors they don't know what they're you know what they're talking about. I don't know if they've had any of these other 2021 RAV4s come in for that, you know, but it, it kind of looks like they, they don't kind of understand what's going on, all right? <laughs> I'm, I'm sure the technician probably knows, all right, but yeah, what I should have told, I sh what I should have told them is uh, showed them the, uh, my YouTube video where, like, it's making that noise, so. <laughs> um, I, I, I managed to catch it on video, you know, I, I, I should have shot a video of it this morning when I started the RAV4 up um, because it did make the noise. It wasn't very, it wasn't very long. Today it was like two, three seconds, and then it, it went away, you know. But like, I bet you if I started up like when it's really cold, like in in the morning, like at 3 a.m. or something, it will make that noise. All right, so it will probably make that noise when when they're when they're closed. <laughs> so as I say, okay, when when the service center is closed, yo. So it is really annoying trying to get this thing fixed, man, because because of the conditions that have to be met to for it to happen, type of thing. All right, and I just wanna I just wanna be rid of this noise, you know. Finally, you know, 
it, it may co it may cause you problems in the future so yeah it's best to get it done as soon as possible okay anyway balls in their court hopefully uh hopefully they can fix the problem um i'll let you guys know uh, what happens uh, so i gotta go get somebody to drive me over to to stevens creek toyota tomorrow to get my vehicle or yeah if if it's when it's ready <laughs> okay how about that yeah not tomorrow but when it when the vehicle is ready right and they're like oh yeah we can we're, we can charge you for our stuff if we need to fix anything i'm like no you just why don't you just fix the freaking problem and then and then yeah if there's if there's any other problem don't fix it <laughs> how about that all right you guys did the multi-point inspection on the vehicle and said everything was good so yeah there should be nothing else to fix all right <laughs> They said something about leaves being in the uh, in the cabin filter and stuff. I'm like, no, man. The, I just replaced that cabin filter not long ago. There ain't no leaves in there, man. <laughs> it's it's a freaking sound of a pipe. And the vehicle, it like vibrates. The whole vehicle vibrates. You could feel it and you could hear it. All right. It's a, it's like a, it's kind of annoying. All right. Yeah. All right. Here's what we go. Alright, so we're here. I'm here back at Steven Street Toyota and uh, they bad news they it didn't make the noise. <laughs> so, so they didn't do anything, man. Alright, so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can make it make the noise, but it's kinda too late now. Uh, and there's a reason why I don't think it made the noise, alright? It's, it's kinda my it's kinda my fault, okay? But I'll talk about it when I get my RAV4 back. Ah, uh, she is man. Pulling up. All right, guys. Here I am in my Rav4. I'm blasting the heater. Sorry, let me let me open the sunroof. There we go. It's actually sunny today. Oh, great. Yeah, it's still not still not bright enough with the sunroof. <laughs> anyway, let me take this off. Um, so here's the scoop. Uh, they needed to reproduce the. Um, there's that Rav4. It's still there, man. Uh, Rav4 Prime. If anybody wants to buy a Rav4 Prime, there she is, man. It's a red one. It's an XSC. That's the one I showed you. <laughs> showed in my uh, my vlog earlier. Okay, yeah. So here we are in the Rav4, and uh, and I'm blasting the heater and everything. I can tell. I did. It was on high when I came in. I was like, oh yeah, they were trying to get it to make make that noise, and and it didn't. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, my Rav4 got stage fright. <laughs> so I'm gonna say that's all I'm gonna say. My Rav4 got stage fright, and so. So if they could not reproduce the sound, they have to record it. That's what they said. They're, they need to make a recording of it making the sound and then send it to Toyota for proof that like, yeah, this vehicle is affected with it. And then so so they said they can't just go updating the the calibration files and stuff, all right? And, um, they just won't do it because it might cause more problems, you know? And uh, I, I guess I could understand that, man. <laughs> but, but yeah. Um, and and he explained it's warranty work, so they have to they have to have proof that it, it's doing this. So um, if it you know and, and and a video is not good enough, I guess you know. Um, I didn't give them a video though, but they need they needed to they needed to witness it happening, you know. And the only way to do it is to leave it here and then let it cool down and then turn it on. So that's why I had to leave it overnight. All right. So unfortunately. Rav4 Prime got uh, stage fright and didn't make the noise. So um, okay, so uh, here's another thing. Okay, what I think I, I it was it's my fault. All right, I screwed up. <laughs> um, so it's been raining a lot, a lot, a lot. It's raining and it's been really cold. And um, yeah, so I I charge my Rav4 Prime with uh, solar power. Okay, so when there's solar power. Um, I charge it and when there's not I try not to charge it with the house's power <laughs> okay because it, it makes the electricity bill higher right um, and uh, and yeah so I had like maybe like 10 miles of range before I left the house and I blew through it going through uh, going here okay uh, because here it's like it's roughly 10 miles and, and it ran out of power right when I got here okay so when when there's no power in the battery guess what it can't run in EV mode, right? Can't it can't run on um, normally with the Rav4 Prime? If it has charge in the battery, it will start. It will default start to EV mode, um, and uh, and if there's no power in the battery, it will start hybrid mode. All right. So I I very rarely, <laughs> you know, I very rarely start this thing up cold in hybrid mode because usually when it's what yeah usually when I was first started up. It's got charge in it, all right? I plugged it in, or I went somewhere, I plugged it in, 
that type of thing or or like I yeah we've driven a lot of miles and we burned through all the EV EV power and then now we're back on gas or hybrid power and and like yeah so it's it's let I think it's less likely to make that noise in hybrid mode so what Hayes Omega should have done is fully charged the battery and then drove it in fact I'm not even fully charge the battery. Just make sure the battery has some charge in it before you get here. Like, put it in freaking charge mode. I, I know I could have just done that. I could have just put it in charge mode for like 10, 15 minutes while I was waiting out there, right? And then there would have been some charge in the battery, right? That way when you start it up, it will start up in EV mode and then make the noise, right? I, I think, I believe um, it's, it's more likely to make the noise in EV mode than in a hybrid mode because in hybrid mode if you start it up in hybrid mode the gasoline motor turns on right away because it's cold it's got to warm the engine up or right? it's got to warm the catalytic converter up it's got to warm all sorts of stuff up man so yeah um so that's the scoop so that i think that's why it didn't make the noise is because there wasn't any charge in the freaking battery <laughs> okay so yeah boohoo um so they didn't do it they didn't do anything they said if it makes a noise again bring it back yada, yada, yada. so um i don't know what i'm gonna do now guys <laughs> i want to get this done like before at least before the warranty wears out or before like something seriously seriously problematic happens to the the hvac system right the heat pump system man um that's what i'm worried about because the the heat pump system is a vital system to the uh, the Rav4 Prime, it heat, not only does it keep the inside of the vehicle hot or cool, it also heats and cools the battery at the same time. So yeah, um, it's very very important for the life of the battery as well. Okay, because the battery is not in the vehicle; it's underneath the vehicle. Okay, so you can't just yeah. Anyway, that's the scoop. Nothing. <laughs> so. What Hazemega is thinking of maybe doing is getting the software and doing it himself. <laughs> okay, so, so the only problem with that, all right, there's a way you can get a, you can get the cable and the software, all right, not, not legally, you know, um, but uh, there, there's a way you can get it cheap, all right. And, but I don't want to spend a lot of money on this because it should be free. It's a warranty work, man. Um, and then I would. I might try to get the tech stream software for my laptop and the cable and then see if I can look at the the files. That's the, all I can do. I can only look at what the, the calibration files are and if it's like the wrong one, all right? Now, obviously it's the wrong one because it's making the freaking noise, right? <laughs> um, and and yeah, so so that's, that's where I'm at. Um, the only problem is I don't have the, I wouldn't have the calibration file to upload to it that would be the problem <laughs> so and to do that you have to have a professional tech stream uh, license or the, the TIS the the Toyota um, the Toyota service Steely um, you have to have the professional one and that's $65 for like two days and I don't want to spend a lot of money to do this when it should be free all right but if I if I can do it just for educational purposes you know and like I could do some cool stuff with that software in the future then then yeah, maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll go and do it myself. <laughs> okay, that's just, they, they don't want to do it, man. Uh, uh, the thing is, like, I have to do it now because it's gonna get warm soon. All right, when winter is gonna end, and then then it won't do this anymore, right? Or it won't do it as much, type of thing. But anyway, um, so so that's it. That's the end of my uh, my heat pump repair vlog. Uh, it didn't uh, didn't happen because uh, they couldn't reproduce the uh, the noise. So. I guess uh, I guess that's it. Game over for now. Um, I will. I will, I'm gonna do a series of uh, tests, some test uh, experiment videos. All right, um, just to uh, get videos of the the noise. All right, I have one video. All right, it made it. I shoot you not, man. It made it made the noise the day I drove it here. <laughs> okay, just for a little while, maybe like five seconds. Okay, um, yeah. So. I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot a bunch of videos in hybrid mode and EV mode, okay? And then we'll uh, and then we'll see what happens. All right. I know it's it's kind of isolated to like certain certain year Rav4 primes, you know. But yeah, that's a bummer. I feel like I wasted a bunch of time coming here. So 
okay i'm gonna go home <laughs> that's it all right let's big out by the way i noticed man white rav4s are everywhere man there's one right here i park right next to and then literally there was a guy there i was picking up my rav4 and then this guy was like uh oh um, i'll Oh, no, 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 no. One of the guys was saying, hey, hey, are you waiting for a RAV4? Yeah, I'm waiting for a RAV4. And uh, and then the, and then the other guy, there was another guy waiting for his RAV4, too. I was like, oh, I'm waiting for mine, too. And I, and I was like, oh, I told him, like, uh, it's a RAV4 Prime. <laughs> okay. And then, sure enough, um, I, they pull mine up. And then the, I see another RAV4 come around the corner. And it's a, I think it's a RAV4 Prime XSE or something, because it has, like, the black roof. And then I was thinking, I was like, is that is that a Rav4 Prime too? I'm like, and I look at the it has the badge on the on the fender. I was like, oh shit, <laughs> it's a Rav4 Prime also. I was like, that it, it's a, so like, what are the chances? Like, there's so many of these white Rav4s running around. <laughs> That's why I want to make my Rav4 look different than all other ones because there's just so white is like probably the the most common color, man. I kind of wished I got the blue color. The blue color is is pretty nice. It's look. Like, kind of like that that's the only uh, that's the other color i would have got the the dark blue one okay anyway yeah so that's that's a little uh, a little thing that happened to me when i picked it up I was like, oh there's, there's another dude here with the, a white rav4 a white rav4 prime <laughs> not no less so i was like what are the chances right all right what did i say white rav4 there's like i don't know if those are highlanders or rav4s i think they're rav4s there's like four or five over there yeah man they're everywhere man